What's up YouTube, James Affair here. Welcome to what will be a little bit longer of a let's play, a very much requested let's play. And that will revolve around kind of a challenge, I guess, for me. And that's going to be having at least 500,000 population, which I have never done before. And probably 500,000 as far as the balance goes. So um, it's gonna have, you know, level one AI. It's gonna be pretty easy, you know, easy settings. But the goal here, it isn't it isn't to just beat level 3 AI, you know, I've done that many, many times. You know, I've, like, pretty much all of my games have been expert mode so far. So I want to do just a chill let's play with all of the DLC. And I'm going to do the blue color. Um, with, well, maybe all the DLC. Um, we'll, we'll decide now, actually. But um, I really, really do like Crown Falls and... We'll do we'll do Stanny here. That'll be our name. So what we want we want sunken treasures. We want botanica. The passage. I guess we can have that. Bright harvest. Seeds of change. Yeah, we'll have seeds of change. The high life. I guess we can do pretty much all of these. Actually, I do not want tourist season. I don't like tourist at all. Docklands will be good. Land of lines will be good. Yeah, we'll just do all of these DLC. I think. I think that'll be preferable. But this was requested a lot by you guys in the comments, and um, I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy with uh, with doing this. I, I'm really looking forward to a chill let's play where my trade routes aren't constantly being raided. Um, but we'll do a normal. Let's see. I want to do a corners map. Mineral deposits. We can do plenty. Yeah, we'll do plenty. Uh, fertility. We'll have plenty. Island difficulty will be normal. Yep, mainly large. Starting world size, large. Yeah, that, that'll be really good. I do want to edit the characters. Um, I, I do want Princess Shing. I do not want Beryl, but I do want maybe Benta. I think she'll be good. We'll have Benta, Willy. I don't know. Maybe... I do like George Smith, maybe. I don't know. Willy's fine, too. We'll have three level one AI, just to make sure all the traders, um, the pirates... Maybe we can keep them average because they're going to start out at war with us and they're never really a problem to begin with, but we'll just leave them at average. Income, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it at high, I guess. Um, that way we can kind of bargain with the items a little more or something. And we have to upkeep off, construction cost refund. How about we'll do, I don't know, what's the even point of even changing any of this? Um, I, you know, the, the goal is just to really, really get a high population, so... Skyscraper upkeep low. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're all set to go here starting ships. I actually want a I Actually do want to start with just a flagship starting harbor um, Off because I want to be able to select my island starting capital Largest fine revealed map. Actually. I want to do maybe like Medium or small just to start out with a little bit less Revealed map off and victory conditions. So that'll be good. Let's start the game. So guys, thanks for thanks for coming in and watching the video. Um, I'm probably gonna keep this first video to maybe about 30 minutes or something like that. And um, the rest of them will probably be about an hour or so. But I'm really, really excited to dive into this. I've never done an actual like easier let's play where I'm just kind of focused on like the building and I'm focusing on, you know, more or less the, um, I do want a starting island with grain, by the way but where I'm focusing more or less just on building a big city, building up a big population. You know, that's kind of what I'm looking for, forward to. So um, we start out with 50 timber, 10 steel, 10 weapons. Um, Madame Kahino's, oh, right here. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. But I do want to settle an island maybe down here in the southeast or just the south in general because it, it's a closer spot to, um, to the new world. And it just makes trade quicker. That's really the only reason I was thinking about it. But this is actually a really, really good island right here. So I think what I want to do is settle this island. And I want to put the uh, the trade port maybe like right here. I think would be a really, really good idea. So we'll go ahead and fast forward this. And then hopefully one of the AI doesn't just scoop this right away. Let's put this, uh, let's put this trade center right there. All right, so we're started. Um, and I don't know what the naming scheme is going to be yet. So if you guys in the comments want to uh, go ahead and mention something, mention like a naming scheme or like, um, or just your own name suggestions, that'd be really, really cool. I'd be totally down to name the islands after your suggestions. Okay, so let's slow it down a little bit and turn blueprint mode on just to make sure, just to make sure we've got things going here. So I think the first thing to do is to get the timber layout kind of all set up. Actually, 
This would have been an even better spot. I wonder if I can just move it. I don't think it'll even be... Yeah, it doesn't even cost anything because it's easy mode. Um, okay, so... Oh, by the way, I got a new mouse too. Just thought I'd let you guys know because I was complaining about it earlier. Um, so let's go ahead and... Maybe we can just put the wood somewhere basic for now. We can put it like right here. We'll put it right there and then yeah, we can just kind of build the base one for now. We'll put the warehouse right here. And how about we put this guy? Let's see, 100% will be right here, yep. But I wanna do 100% right away because um, does the city grow so fast? I think I think four, well, I think four lumber camps is optimal, to be honest with you. Because it just, it, it really brings the income in super quick. And let's get the, um, let's get the road all the way kind of here. And I wanted to build like maybe, I'll have a smaller population area like right here, but I think I'm gonna build the main, main one kind of maybe more like on this side. But either way, what I'm gonna do is bring the road kind of down here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. It's gonna snake down and go right there. Okay, so now let's build a market. Yeah, I think, I think it would be good to just start here for the population. So I could probably just do, yeah, let's build it. So that way, this this little this little island community doesn't really ha doesn't have a trade, it doesn't have the trade post like right up right up next to it. We can go like this, build the road here. Okay, let's blueprint some houses real quick. I think what I want to do is kind of start them like right here. Oops. Yeah, what we're gonna yeah we're gonna make this as neat as possible. <laughs> um. Like, at least to start out with. So let's put the market right here. And we'll go ahead and get that going right now. Oh, the AI is just now beginning a, getting a settlement going. That's interesting. So I do, I do want to give, like, some hints and tips for beginners, too, as I go along. Like, just to be, you know, a little more, like, beginner-friendly. But um, I think the first thing to do when you set up an island is to um, is to really really to get your timber going first so getting your lumberjack huts going right away is is pretty essential in my opinion so we're gonna build these lumberjack huts first and they're just gonna um, they're just gonna bring in timber here but you can you can put timber by uh, right next to your trade post or you can put it right next to here I like to I like to kind of fit them in right here next to your um, your first lumber operation because they really don't interfere that much with uh, with like the the cultivation area like cuz all of mine are 100% I think oh this one's not 100% actually it's 97 this one is 100 okay that one's 100 as well so we're actually doing pretty good so I can just go ahead and upgrade some of these guys and um, we'll go ahead and fast forward that so we'll get we'll be getting the um, we'll be getting the extra timber pretty darn quick and I think I maybe accidentally took something from yellow I took an island from her but uh, that's okay. I think yellow is actually going to be Benta. I don't think I've run into her yet, though. Um, yeah, I haven't. Uh, Willy actually, I think, is yellow this time around. So that's interesting. I don't know where the pirates are yet. Probably in the middle. I'm just going to assume that. So anyway, the timber timber should be coming in pretty quick now. We, yeah, we have full population here, so we can actually maybe get more of it going. Um, we can fit one right here without hurting cultivation. So put one there. And then we can put one maybe, maybe we can put one like maybe right here outside of it. I think that'll be fine too. We're at negative 10 population, but that's fine. Like the farmers will get right back up to where they need to need to be as soon as I build more here. So I'll put a pub here. I'll put um, some more houses here. I'll just make sure they line up first. Benta introduces herself. Awesome. So we can open up diplomacy with her. Although since it's level one AI, they'll probably just throw money at me, not expand very quick, and just be, they'll be good little AI. So, I am, I'm happy for that. So I think I want, I do want to keep the harbor kind of right here, so I'll put the fish here, and I think that'll be all I really need to do for this, for this side at least. 
But I want to do this. Put a road out like that. I like to put the fisheries kind of in a in a weird like design so I can um so it just looks it looks good. I I feel like cuz the fisheries, you know, they're not like organized really. They're like they're kind of like just a little boat operation. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it looks kind of cool to have them staggered about. But I can put one right here as well. So that way we can have two fisheries going and that's not a need we'll have to worry about. Let's let's kind of pause it for now and get some houses really going here. Get some more houses. Let's see. I want to just maybe blueprint this for now. We'll put it like right there, and then we'll just build all of them. That one we can't build yet. Um, so once all those once all those farmers like start to fill out, then we'll get we'll get some more. Um, we'll get like the pub unlock, and then we'll also get the worker clothes unlock probably. But yeah, the more population you get, the more buildings that become unlocked for you to actually be able to build so you can fulfill more needs like we'll get the schnapps soon we'll get the work clothes soon um and actually oh we do have potatoes and grain okay <laughs> i was hoping i chose like the right island for this um let's get that farm residence going let's speed that up so i want to kind of flesh out the housing here and it's not going to be pretty at first i i get that like well i, I accept that fact um but i do want to I do want to have it pretty efficient, at least for now. So I think, oh yeah, the pub can go certainly right here. Actually, let's put it right here. I think they'll be happy enough from that, at least for a while. So we'll hit regular pause on that. We have 16 timber. Actually, let's just keep that going. We do have negative balance, but I'm like I said, I'm not too worried about that. We have a quest here. That's kind of nice, but I'm going to go ahead and continue exploring. I'm gonna go up north and check out that island. And actually, we do have this island here, which is another really good one. It's got tons of fertility on it, which is really, really nice. We have 46 population now. Um, let's go ahead and make some more houses. Um, I was thinking two, three, we can put some of those, you remember those H designs that we were doing on the last uh, Let's Play? I was thinking we could do them here too, at least for a little bit, just to make it, just to have like a couple uh, housing designs in the pool that I can pretty much easily just, you know, copy and paste. I'll put two there and then I'll put uh, a two by three here, just like I was doing in the last episode, just to change it up a little bit. Then we can probably build this whole H here, no problem. Yes, we can. And that one, no problem. We can probably fit trees in. Maybe the trees wouldn't be such a good idea to build right away, but I like how they look. We have a quest here, a resident quest. Oh yeah, farm animals. Well, my, my area isn't very big, so that's an easy quest. And we got a bosun. Okay, that's, that's not really what I was hoping for. But that's okay. We'll build a fire station pretty much right away. I think that's a good a good plan for now. And then we have 18 timber, so we can build 246. I'll take 12 timber there. That's okay. Um, so now we've got a very good, a very good share of farmers here. And I don't know how actually how many fish I have coming in. Just I just want to make sure I'm supporting it. So if you click, um, if you click like, well, I I know it's a hotkey as well to look at your statistics, but what I always do. Click on a storage house or whatever and go to um, storage or go to production tab and you can see like your supply and demand of all your stuff. Um, actually, I, I really do. I, I should pay attention more to hotkeys. Um, let's check the controls. <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't like do this while you guys are like while I'm recording, but um, I don't remember right off the top of my head. I'm just, I'm not gonna sit there and stare at controls while I'm recording. Um, I'll do it off camera. But um, yeah, there's a hotkey for it, but um, but yeah, just just do what I did when you when you click on your trading post, you can go to statistics, production. You can see how you're doing as far as like the needs of your farmers and workers and all your population tiers is going. Um, so we can go ahead and build these ones. And what I wanna do is build, get worker clothes going too. But my, my fish supply is like just fine. 
so I can move that to fast. And then what I want to do is kind of think about, so I want this to be all people here, and probably this to be all people as well, at least the starter people. And then maybe have a have a have an area be be like mostly like farming or at least at least the farmer needs so I'll, I'll put a road here and just have this be like my kind of starter area for the farming so what I wanted to do is build kind of like a, a wool layout and I'm just gonna I'm gonna build it so that you guys can well you guys can copy this for sure so what I want to do is put it like I think it should line up like this yeah so to line up like that, and yeah, you can put the warehouse just like that. Put the road in the middle, and actually put the road all the way around. Put the, yeah, put that one there. You can copy this and put the, put it there. And this should line up perfectly with the, uh, with the module. Yeah, it does. Okay. So now that we have that set up, you can mirror the other side, but make sure to space it out once. Actually, I don't really need to space this out once, but eh, it's whatever. I'll copy this. Um, Cause this side, like I don't have to have a road going out like that, you know, but um, I can, uh, actually this has to move in cause it needs to line up with that shop there. So we'll copy this again and then the module needs to line up. So, yep, there. So I, I think this is like a pretty cool little setup for like wool clothes or worker clothes. There. So let's let's go ahead and build or actually upgrade this. We'll do like I think maybe two to start with, and that'll give us plenty of worker clothes for the future. And I can maybe fit a few farms here. Actually, I should have just scooched this over to have it be a little more efficient. But I can maybe put like a potato farm here too, just to fill it out. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, yeah, so... Oh, actually, these need to be further in, don't they? Eh, that's alright. Yeah, there we go. So we can fill that out with trees. That'll be good. So yeah, that, that's connected. Um, and now we'll be getting worker clothes, so that's, that's nice. We'll slow this down a little bit. Just to make some more room for... Some more people. Some more farmers. And what I want to do, actually, I can just do this, because um, we're going to be using this kind of area, this middle spot here, to put in, like, public services and stuff. So that's how I kind of like to lay out my towns. And what we'll do is just copy, like, this one, this section here, and put it, like, right there. Oh, and I actually can fit it. That's awesome. Go ahead and upgrade that. There we go. Then I might just put, like, a 2 by three here. Oh, and I can't actually do a two by three there. Oh, that's okay. Put the road here and I can just put some trees in to make it make it a little more, uh, make it a little more like a village, I guess. Look, at least look like one. Um, okay, so there we go. That's all set up. Well, we have, we have a, quite a few population already just from that. But we're bringing in the timber like crazy, so let's speed that up. We should we should be getting the um we should be getting the worker clothes coming in here pretty nicely. But I'll I'll adjust this later if it's like if it's like too annoying. Like if I need to make more room for farms and whatnot, then I will. Um, maybe I could fill this in too while I'm working on it. Yeah, I could I could just um, maybe mirror this one here. And put it on. Or actually, I could turn it this way. Yeah, I think that'll be that'll look good. But yeah, I can fill that all in with trees. Maybe do a two by three here. Two by three here. And that's okay. I don't, I don't care if it's kind of sticking out with the road there. I can flatten it out later and work on that later. All right. So we'll build the trees there and. There we go. All right, so we should be able to get, okay, we do have worker clothes. I think, I think we'll be getting to workers in pretty much no time here. Um, 
Because we've already got worker clothes going. We've already got... Yeah, we already have the fish. Um, and the schnapps, I'm not... I'm really not that worried about the schnapps at the moment. I'm really just kind of focusing on the on the basic needs, and then I'll get the shop. I'll get the schnapps going later. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a nice um, stock of the uh, worker clothes here just from this little layout. But yeah, if you guys want to use this, go ahead. I, I really do like uh, using this setup. So we do have the fire station already set up here, and I can go ahead since I'm capped out on timber. I can go ahead and just make all these. And then I'll check my, um, oops, um, I'll go ahead and check my statistics here. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah. You can just click on your balance too. I mean, like, I, I forgot about this, but you can just click on your balance, click production, and you can select your islands over here on the left. But, uh, it looks like I'm doing okay on worker clothes. Um, I'm doing okay on fish. Well, actually I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not doing that great on fish to be honest with you. Cause the, like the, the bar like the number says five out of five and the bar is a little bit lower. The demand bar is a little bit lower than the supply, but um, it's still getting pretty close. So I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to build one more fishery. And then what we can do is actually we can upgrade to some workers right now. I'll upgrade this whole little H right there. So that's awesome. We're already, I mean, we're 20 minutes into the video. We've got some, got some good workers already. I'm just going to upgrade all of these. Because upgrading them takes quite a lot of timber, so... Uh, let's build a clay deposit here. One final look. Yeah, we can publish that paper. I don't care. I might not be going for propaganda either, to be honest with you. I don't know. We'll see. When I'm checking my true income numbers, I'm definitely not going to... I'm not going to do propaganda there. So, um... I want to put a... A warehouse, probably... I can put some houses around the warehouse, too. But I think what I'm going to do is like delete this road. I'm going to make this like maybe a little worker area for the clay pit. So let's build this warehouse here. I'm going to put a road around it. And then what I'm going to do is because we're good. We need to get bri bricks. Bricks are like super, super important. They need they need to get going as soon as possible because um, you need bricks to upgrade to like artisans. You need it for you need bricks for like important buildings. Um, like, let's see here. You need bricks for, like, yeah, you need them for, like, the bread maker. You need them for flour mill, grain farm, sausages. You need them for all this stuff, so it's super important to get going pretty quick. So we upgraded those. Let's speed this up to get our timber flowing again. And then we also need to look towards steel beams as soon as possible, because I do want to claim, like, another island pretty quick here. But I also have neglected my exploring. So I'm going to explore all the way down here as well. Um, so to move on, the next tier is artisans. So what, what we need to do, we need to work on sausages, bread, soap, all that. So um, bricks are just going to be the most important thing. They're like the blockade right now. So uh, bricks will be it. And I recommend like you guys too, like even if you're just a beginner player, like I recommend really going for building materials pretty much right away as much as you can, because that, that'll, a lot of times that is your bottleneck, but um, you know, just do what your population can handle. You know, if you if you don't have enough workers, then you know don't go for it yet. Or if you do, you, you might need to pause the building later. But just do what you can handle. Um, so I'm gonna put two more brick layers down. I will need to upgrade to some more. Yeah, I will need to upgrade to some more um, workers here. But let's place a warehouse first. And this is actually an iron deposit, so that warehouse will double down. As, as a helpful thing for the iron deposit. And actually what I might do guys is I might, um, I forgot what seed this is, but I'll go back and check the seed number and I'll put it in the description if you guys like want to follow along or you or you would like access to like, you know, this, um, this specific seed. I, Cause I didn't choose one specifically. I didn't really feel a need to, so. Um, but yeah, I, I really do like this seed so far anyway. I mean, it's, uh, I like the islands here. Like there's so many islands spread out, I mean, I think getting 500k population is going to be like a pretty good, pretty reasonable thing to do. Um, so let's finish exploring there. I just built two more brick factories. I am negative on workers, however. So we need to remedy that. Oh yeah, the storage. We're up, we were hitting our cap of timber there, which is not not a good thing to do. Um, but I, I messed up. That's my fault. Because I what I need to do is really make some storage, a storage depot. Um, silo is the key to animal husbandry. Absolutely. 
Absolutely it is. Silos are great, but I'm not going to be building any at this very second. I'm going to build a depot here. Um, a depot... I want them to be kind of lined up though. I wonder if I can line this one up here. Oh no, I can't really. Um, sure, yeah, whatever. We'll build a pig farm, or a silo on the pig farm eventually. But yeah, what I want to do is put maybe some depots out here. Put the road kind of like this. Oh no, I, don't, I definitely don't want to build a, a brick road just yet. I want to keep it kind of like this. There we go. So we can build one depot there. Change it to that look. I like that look a little bit better. So once we, so like a depot adds like plus 25 or plus 50 storage, yeah, plus 50 storage capacity. So once, so we're gonna, our, our cap for timber there is gonna be a little bit higher, but I did speed it up by quite a lot. So brick factory, there we go. Submit photo, okay. So yeah, the name is kind of bothering me. I think I'll come up with like a preliminary name for now. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is name them after maybe I did do, I did like mythological like cities and places last time, but maybe this time, this time I was thinking about, honestly, maybe, maybe like, um, how about like mythological figures, like heroes of times past, right? So maybe this one could be. Agamemnon was a hero, right? He was a Greek one. Or... Because I've been playing the Hades game lately, so I was thinking, like... You know, like Mythical Gods or something. Um... Oh, I know. We can name... We can name, like... Name it after, like, Egyptian gods for now. Egyptian gods and then other mythological gods. Other gods from the... From, like, other countries' pantheons, you know what I mean? So we'll go with Amun here. As in, like, Amun-Ra, that sort of thing. Um, because... Amun was like the original like sun god, I believe, of Egyptian mythology. So I think that's pretty cool. If you guys like that, cool. If not, let me know. Uh, but I'll take suggestions for everything. So let's upgrade this H here to be all workers. We can upgrade this one too. And I, I, I'll, I'll increase my income substantially by uh, just getting schnapps in here alone. But um, they do re they do require a church for happiness, beer, and schnapps. But that's that's easy. You know what I mean? We can take care of that. Um, this is going to take 2,500 monies and 20 timber, 25 bricks. So let's fast forward that a bit. Our bricks are going full speed. So that's exciting. Bricks are going full speed. And what I can do is bring it up here. Bring the ship up here just to explore a bit. To this corner. Hopefully I don't run into the pirate. If I do, I'll try to like negotiate a ceasefire pretty much right away. Um, but yeah, we should we should actually just get schnapps going now. Um, I don't see the point in delaying it much longer because it is going to be it's going to be a significant uh, increase in population. So or not in population, but uh, happiness and income. So I think what I'll do is I think what I'll do is I'll put I'll put schnapps places right here. I'll separate them by a road. So if like an explosion happens. They won't all just completely combust. I don't know if the road separation is like actually a deterrent for them like chain like exploding or catching fire, but uh, we'll find out. I'll I'll keep I'll keep a fire station up here, um, just in case. And I I always talk about how much the farmers like to guzzle their alcohol, and the workers too. They all do all all of them here. Um, Arachino, where is Arachino at? Oh yeah, that, that's yours. That's yours. You can do that. Well, actually... Hops is here. This has one brick, one hops. This has... Okay. So the islands aren't that bad. Um, she could settle this one too, though. Hmm. I mean... I mean, she should be able to do that, right? Because, it, I mean, it's a really nice island. Really nice coal. But it's not... Yeah, just take it. Just take it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a nice guy. I graciously allowed you to settle there. I know. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you for the thank you for the coins. That was actually pretty nice. 
So I have 1,400 people already. That's not bad. I just need to times that by 500, and then I'll be, and then I'll be good. Um, offers me a puzzle quest. Okay, I'll take care of that later. Let's get the schnapps going for now, though. I really need to, actually need to focus on that. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is put I'll put the potato farms kind of along here, and I want to see how long. Or how... Okay, that's 72 there. So I guess I'll just copy this. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Let's move it. I'll probably put like a road though, like in between... Like maybe right here. Actually, I'll just do it there. Okay, that's a lot of potatoes. Um, let's go ahead and construct building and modules. I think I've got five, right? I've got, the demand is five, so I'm gonna build five of those. We'll put a, a warehouse here. And then uh, the people will absolutely love that. So one, two, three, four, yep, five here. Good to go. We're gonna put another warehouse here. So that way we can store all the schnapps. And then there we go, we have the, uh, like the farmer's needs are all set here, so that's really good. Let's find maybe the hibernation, um, oh, I don't understand. Um, bring some wild animals to Ireland. Look for the wild animals in the mountains on Benta's, oh, Benta's main island. So Benta's main island is here. And apparently, oh, here's some, they're kind of, they're kind of highlighted, aren't they? Yeah, they are. There's one. There's a wolf there. I've never done this quest before. It's an easy, like, nice cool 9,000 for this, too. Awesome. There we go. 9,300 out of that. That's some easy gold right there. I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. So we have plenty of workers. We're get we are getting a little low on farmers, though. Um, their needs are great. Like, their needs are satisfied pretty well. Um, but we can build a church here for the workers. So that's what I'll do here. So the happiness will shoot right up for that. And good for them. They're very happy about their church. But now we need sausages, bread, and soap. But for that we need iron. Um, for steel beams. So that's gonna- so that extra 400 workforce is gonna come in super handy for what comes next. Um, but I think here might be- well... I can separate it here at this cliff. And then I can also just put more people like in this in this corridor kind of like here. Actually, you know what? Let's let's block let's delete this here. I want it to be all like grid shaped like in a linear fashion. I don't I don't want it to be like have weird roads really. This is kind of a weird road right here. Maybe I can just delete this and delete that. So that way it doesn't look strange. Um, okay, and now what I want to do is grab like this section here and put it right there. Then we'll connect this road. And I wonder if I can do, yeah, I can do two, two by three like that. And then I'll, I'll just delete and rearrange houses once I get like electricity coming through here and stuff. Um, there we go. So the houses all line up together. That's really good. There we go. And we're we're gonna really we're gonna have to make some more schnapps here soon. But um, that should be good for now for the farmers. Um, let's see here. Um, production. Oh, so we're good on schnapps then. We're good on work clothes still, and we're we're gonna be getting low on fish pretty soon. Yep, trade. Benta just wants to trade with me. Imagine that. Imagine the AI just being really nice to you, encouraging your friendship with others. Imagine that. Imagine that. Willie's happy. They're all happy for me. Wow, I'm I'm so I'm so jaded by the uh, I'm so jaded by expert level three AI. Like they're just they're so. They're so rude and expansive. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, all good stuff. Um, nope, nope. We just want to publish it. 
Publish the truth, you know what I'm saying? Always publish the truth. Well, not always. I lie all the time in my expert let's plays. Lots of propaganda. Um, so we will definitely be need to be building bricks soon. Actually, let's go ahead and get another... Um, let's get another schnapps distillery going, probably. We'll put it maybe... We'll just line them up kind of right here. But one more will be perfect. More potatoes. Um, and what else? What else? We do need to get steel going. But I do need to keep this video... I'm gonna end this video probably in a second here. Let's build the ore deposit first. For iron ore. There's another one for iron ore right here. We we do not have any coal here, actually, so... I'm gonna have to build like a, uh, like a couple coal furnaces here just to... Just to keep, uh, just to make some steel. But anyways, guys, yeah, hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching this first episode. I hope I, I hope I, um, was able to help any new beginners stopping by or just, you know, any, anyone that was excited to see my next Let's Play. This is going to be chill. You know, I'm going to, I'm just going to be building up, um, I'm just going to be building up the population. I want to build some skyscrapers. I want to get up to 500,000 population. I know it's going to be, uh, it's going to be quite a task. I, I've never had a population at that high before. I mean, I've had easily 200,000, but never 500. So that's going to be quite a challenge. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm excited. I hope you guys are along for the ride as well. And I will catch you on episode two. Have a great night.